Welcome back, everyone. It's a nice Wednesday morning, afternoon, if you're in the East Coast. I've got my co-host, Mark Rader. What's up, Mark? What's up, everyone? How are we doing? We're both out of Malibu. If you have referrals for us, send them to Mark, because I'll probably won't get to them. So, Mark will. <laughs> uh, we have Molly. I will. I will. <laughs> he will. We know it. Molly, Molly McKenna from Austin, Texas. You're the director of operations for an amazing team out there. Tell us about the team. Tell us about what you do. Sure. So uh, I work for Pure Realty in Austin, Texas, and we have 150 agents. Um, oh. We have about 12 teams within the office. Majority of them are solo agents, though. Just do you, doing their own wait, thing. do you handle everything for all? Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's really fun. We spent the first 10 years in business as um, kind of a larger, underneath a larger franchise umbrella. In 2019, decided to branch off and go independent and become our own boutique firm in the That's Austin cool. area. What, and, what part of Austin? So we're actually in Cedar Park, right north, one of the northern Austin suburbs. Right on the Austin line. I know where you're at. Nice. Yeah. It's a great little town. Great. And uh, that's about it. We have a staff of um, seven internal employees, myself included. And then we have a broker owner, a married couple as our broker owner pair. Nice. All right. And then you guys use Chime primarily as your main site, lead source. How, How does Chime fit into this? Chime is everything. So we started using Chime in 2017. <laughs> um, so we, uh, you know, I was, I was talking to a lot of the, you know, the, the Chime staff and telling them that um, in 2017, we looked at, I, I want to say it was about 17 CRMs, real estate CRMs. Oh, damn. <laughs> 17 CRMs. 17, like everything from <laughs> Boomtown, Convergent, like, you know, you name it, we demoed it. We had a really crazy spreadsheet of like what we needed in a CRM and a website and how we needed to manage the agents and have team, you know, teams within the team. And um, Chime was the only one, I, I say this over and over, Chime's the only one that checked every single box that um, we, we had and that we were looking for. So we ended up moving on to Chime 2017. At the time, we probably had like 70 agents. Um, in 2017, we've grown, you know, since then to 150 agents. And mm. um, so, yeah, every we use it for our main website mm-hmm. and <clears throat> we use it for our office lead system, which we, you know, the agents can opt into that. Not every agent is on our office lead system. It's only about 40 out of the office that's, that's getting online leads from us. It's on a different split, different agreement within the office. And so not everybody wants to play that game. Right. But <clears throat> it doesn't really matter for what the agents want to do and what they want to use time for. Like it fits really any strategy that the agent is going after. And so everybody has it for their CRM and their website and uses it just, you know, as um as they see fit for their business i like that all right molly let's get into some of the the ways that you use chime because if you have about 40 agents that are getting the online leads from this let's talk about those that aren't and those that are i want to start with those that aren't first because i want to know if they're still using chime for either making sure that their database is in there, their past clients and all that. And are you using it for transaction management as well? So we don't use it for transaction management. Some agents use it just to like keep track of their business goal, right? So they'll, they'll put that in there, but we require them to use back agent. So we've used back agent for 10 years now, and that's what our contract review department works off of. So they have to put their stuff in there. A lot of them don't want to do that double work, but some of them will put it in there just to track the volume and commissions, um, which is great. And then they have that happy little bar along the top of their dashboard, um, but it's not mandatory. So in terms of agents that are not using it, Um, with the office lead system, leads that we generate and we provide and the ISA scrub and all of that. Um, Many of them are using the open house 
you know, campaign forums are doing a lot of open houses, trying to get those unrepresented buyers. Um, some of them are just having their database in one spot, putting in notes, using the texting, the dialer to record the phone calls, um, email templates, smart plans. Um, we've got mm. hundreds of, of those. So it, it's, you know, we've built those out over the last five years or so where they, no matter what they're doing, they've got you know, a plan in place for no matter what client, what kind of client they have. Um, many of them are generating their own leads. So they'll do Facebook ads through Chime. They'll do listing landing pages for their own listings. They'll, um, yeah. you know, we have the option for them to just like register their domain name, you know, Chime will help them set it up and, and, um, and they'll have their own domain name where it gets masked along the top and they feel really comfortable, you know, publicizing that everywhere. Facebook ads, mm. Instagram ads, Google pages. like that. Ads. Yep. Um, putting on their business cards, on their signs, all that good stuff. So they drive a little traffic to their individual agent subdomains as well. Um, but yeah, open houses really, no, I mean, no matter what they're doing, there's, there's, even if they're just kind of like a Buffini esque agent, right. A lot of mm -hmm. them are using chime instead of referral maker because it just offers a lot more than, than what a lot of CRMs offer. That's funny because we, we kind of do the same thing where, so Mark, Mark and I are on, on the same team here and we have chime and we have follow up boss. So yep. Some of our team members jump into follow us and they're like, but it's it's only the CRM portion of it, yeah. right? Then with Chime, it's it's the complete pro and it's got the smart plans with the texting, which with and the AI, right? Yeah, yeah, so, AI. <laughs> yeah, that's it's very true. So now let's shift over to the people that are using it to receive online leads. Is the brokerage or the teams within the brokerage who's paying for those leads coming mm -hmm. through? We are. So oh, the office, nice. yeah, so the office takes, um, we, we cover, uh, the salary for the two ISAs. We cover the ad spend for Google pay-per-click. We cover obviously the cost of, of chime and all of that, the chime subscription. Uh, so we have two full-time ISAs that scrub all the leads. We generate about a thousand a month for the 30 or so 30 to 40 agents that are on the system. Um, I'm very strict about, you know, what agents need to do to get on that system. I'm really strict with numbers they need to hit, follow up. I track everything. I send reporting to the agents every month. Um, if they don't hit a certain amount of calls, they don't get any new leads until. They, oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I got, I got some questions on this. Sure. Yes, sure. You, you, and, you and Mark are now best friends. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is crazy. Okay. So yeah. in a good way. So obviously we use Chime. We love Chime. It's awesome. Yes. But pump the brakes here for a second. Your office. Yeah. 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 <laughs> your, office, <laughs> your office pays for the leads for, for, for some of the agents. Yeah. Run, let, let's rewind that. Okay. Press play. How does that look? Who gets on that list? What do they have to do? Tell us now. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, uh, we, we spend a lot. I'll tell you off camera how much we spend. <laughs> but, I don't, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, but we also make a lot. And a lot of that is coming from the accountability level that you have to hold the agents to, right? I mean, we, sure. we, know, we know and love agents, but it's kind of like herding cats. And so I have <laughs> to set really, really hardcore expectations in the beginning um, mm -hmm. of what it's going to have to take for them to get on the lead system. So like, let's say, so it's different for a new licensee than it is for an experienced agent, right? But let's, let's take it from the perspective of a new licensee. So mm -hmm. they, <laughs> she was, somebody said she went there. I went there. I still love, I love all the agents. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Okay, so new licensees have to go through all of our training. It's going to take them about 60 days to get through our entire training platform, which is um, a video, 60 classes or so that's on a, a video platform called Kajabi, where we track their progress and make sure that they're hitting, you know, the really, really important classes. They have to attend um, contracts classes in person. They've got it. You know, there's a lot they need to yes, do. yes. They're also only eligible to receive lease leads from us until they close their first buyer lead on their own. Meaning it can't be a personal transaction. It has to be a buyer that they go out there and find on their own. And they pure. Yes, with peer, underneath peer, pay a split to the office, all good. Then they can get buyer leads from the office. 
Once they close a buyer lead, they're eligible for both buyer and seller leads as well. So the lease leads are good. It just helps them kind of, you know, practice, um, make calls, talk to people, build rapport. Um, and, you know, a lot of the lease, the, the leases are pretty expensive here. So it's not like it's a measly, you know, hundred bucks right. per, per lease commission. So it's, it's not, it's not a terrible deal, but it just sure. gets them out there and, and, and get lots of practice. So they have to do all that. They also have to attend like an onboarding session with me, which lasts about two hours on zoom. They have to watch a ton of training videos. They have to watch the chime training videos, my training videos that I've created for chime and for the lead system. They have to sign a separate agreement. I mean, there's like a whole bunch of things. No, of course. Of course. <laughs> so it, of it's too. good though. Cause you want to weed out the ones that are like, I want leads. No, and exactly. People that are yeah. like, I will die for the leads. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I want. I want somebody that's like, I'm yours. I'm going to like put in the effort. I'm going to yeah. spend an hour to two hours a day on chime doing this, making my calls, doing the things. Um, so we just, I, you know, we, we have a really clear agreement on every single lead that they get from the office has to be on a smart plan or have a single follow-up task assigned to it. You can't have anybody that's just chilling there. They, you know, then we've got the ISAs who are eyes like 24 seven on mm -hmm. all the leads and yeah. making sure, um, an experienced agent, somebody that has sales history, all they need to do is, um, come, they have to attend our buyer conversion and listing conversion classes that are in person person at the office with our trainer. And then they have to uh, attend the lead system onboarding with me, sign the agreement. And then I go through either regardless of new licensees or experience, we go through weekly check-ins. Mm -hmm. um, I do little 15 minute zooms with them, go through every single lead, make sure they're all in the right pipeline. They're on a smart plan. They're following up, they're answering texts. They're, they're doing all the things. So it's pretty, you know, regimented, but it works. Sure, it's just, it's just basically like it, it's basically like new licensees, but like dumbed down like a ton. Yes. Cool. So, is speed of lead very important for you and and handing yes. these out? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's why we have the ISAs. We invest a lot in our ISAs. I I totally get that the agents are, you know, they're out there. They're they're in the field. They're on appointments. They can't always call within five minutes, but, you know, research shows that that's just really important. If somebody's registering on, on your site, they're probably registering on three or four other sure. sites and getting, you know, someone else is calling them faster. So an ISA is huge for that. No, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and typically how many, how many leads do you guys get, you know, let's say a month, a month, it's about 900 to a thousand leads. Okay. That's a good number. Awesome. Yeah. We get about, so cool. we're about, it ranges between 1500 to 2000 for us. So, but it's spread out between different, different cities. So oh, you're, you're yeah. very centralized. Yep. Do you have, do you use the AI, the artificial intelligence that yes. Chime has? Yeah. So we use, we have the AI set to only work on the ISA's off hours. So the, oh, when the ISA nice. isn't working, okay. the AI kicks in. We love the AI. Um, it cracks me up because we'll have clients that'll be like, oh, Anna, that, she's so nice. And we're like, oh, Anna's a robot. So, you know, it's, but it's great. It's like, it's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. <laughs> Anna's so sweet. Anna's I'm trying to. Good. So we went. We went a different route. So hold on. Let me show. Let me show you. And yeah, for those please. that are jumping, have jumped in before with us, they know. We've got. We've got <laughs> little Grogu. It's Grogu. It's Grogu. <laughs> as ours. I love says, that. This is hi. This is also our chat. So our chat <laughs> bot. So great to have you. I'm Grogu. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> That's love so, anyway. So I. I've seen it before and I, I had some agents that, that I trained to like, to like Mark, who is Grogu? And I just, I can't, I lose it every time. Like, <laughs> like, Grogu is the So man. Molly, part of our onboarding, part of our onboarding requirement is season one and season two of The Mandalorian. So if you don't, you don't get leads if you don't watch season one and season two. <laughs> know your team, amazing. know your AI, know Grogu. I might okay, so I, I have to admit I've never watched it. Okay, so, that's it. Uh, <laughs> uh, all fine. right, Molly. A question yeah. for you in regards to more processes and systems, because we don't always get to interview the director of ops, and we we love this part. Yeah. Tell us how it looks when when an agent just doesn't make it on the team. Like what what would that look like for someone not to make it after they've already gone through? getting some leads yes so, 
I can usually, because of the processes and the systems that I have in place, I can usually tell within like the first two weeks. So that's really important for, for me because I'm held accountable to the budget that we're spending by the owners. Right. So they're like, listen, if this isn't working, it's not a big deal. We just, you gotta, you gotta get them off. So the way that I pose that is, is something like, um, Hey, you know, online leads, not for everybody. I totally get it. And if you're not able to invest one to two hours a day, making follow-up calls and really trying to nurture these folks after the ISA has, has either made contact or hasn't made contact. They only try to make contact for the first 10 days, but after that, the agent takes over. Right. So oh. if, I'm, if I'm seeing that they're not, um, making those calls, they're not calling at least 30% of the leads that they have in their account every month, which like the way that I explain it to them is that means you don't need to call 70% of the leads in your account yeah. every month, right? <laughs> so like, it's not that many. And so I can tell pretty quick if I log on and I see, I run a report and they've made four calls in the last month, I just have a very direct conversation with them, remind them of the agreement that they signed and say, you know, you can start getting new leads again as soon as you get those numbers up just let me know when i can run that report again and then we'll get you on new leads again yeah that's you cool know? it's not like a it's not like a do or die it's like more like a, a do right. or, or get suspended yes <laughs> yeah okay i like that yeah i like that now are the isas local are they outsourced they're local yep and how do you how did you find your isas and how do you how do you keep the isas so I've had one of my ISAs for four years, which is wow. like a unicorn, right? Um, she started at, she was, she actually used to be a me at uh, an office up in Colleen, Texas, which is like okay. where the big army base is. So you, she used to be a director of ops um, at an office there, a small office. She ended up moving to Austin and then she was an agent with us. She and I just connected really well because she had that operations background. She started to help out a lot with the lead system, just like with me before we had an ISA, which was way harder before we had an ISA. But then once we, um, once we got really grooving, she actually approached me and said, Hey, do you think I could start scrubbing the leads? I can make a base salary and then maybe like a little percentage of every deal that closes. And I was like, yeah, oh. like, yeah. So she, um, so she does, she, she, she makes a base salary every month. And then every deal that she scrubs first, meaning she has that first initial conversation and passes it off warm to the agent. She makes 5% of their commission. Nice. And the if the lead, are happy to pay that. <laughs> if the lead is qualified through her. So that's within the yes. first 10 days. Correct. Yep. Mm, yeah. that's why she's there for four years right yeah totally <laughs> yes and then i just hired a second one because she she was only working um monday to saturday afternoon so she would work like nine to seven just on call scrubbing the leads and then saturdays she stopped at noon we didn't have anybody scrubbing saturday evenings or sunday so i hired a second one and then split the time so mm. she's working four days he's working three so I find them on Indeed. I just find them on Indeed or I look through. So in Texas, they released a list of new licensees. Um, and I will put, actually, I have my own Chime account for recruiting and I'll uh, put <laughs> everybody into Chime and send a mass text out um, to all the new licensees. And part of what I offer is like, hey, if you want to start out as an ISA, because I have teams within the office that also have their own ISAs. So I am always looking for people that want the regular paycheck in the beginning, but you know, they have to be licensed because they have to be licensed to be having those conversations with people. So it can be a really, really great thing to see if somebody is going to make it at just being an agent in general. Right. Um, we have a, que a question here from, from Nancy. What's up, Nancy? Uh, Molly, are you able to share the agreement that agents signed for leads or give us an idea of what is in the agreement? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's intense. It's like a six page agreement, but I think, you know, conflict only happens when expectations differ. And so it's very important to have all those expectations outlined. So in my agreement, and I'm happy to send it to you, Nancy, if you want to just chat me your email, um, it's, it's like, 
processes of what uh, smart plans and pipelines are used, why it's important to use those pipelines and smart plans. And then there's rules, there's the compensation outline, and then they sign it. They sign something that says, um, uh, please, I promise to read this entire packet before I ask Molly questions. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, I like that. There. Oh, yeah, cool. Actually, you know who would like that, Mark? Our our director of ops, Myra. Yes. Yes. Myra would love that little section. <laughs> that little pause. So good. You have to initial it. Yep. <laughs> Molly, another question. So going back to uh, uh the compensation part you just mentioned, what does that kind of look like for yeah. uh, you know your office as yep. far as you know, online? So office? they're on a 50-50 split for the first three deals they close from the office leads. This is completely yeah. separate from their normal comp model. And then they're on a 60-40 after that. I don't reset that every year. As soon as they close through for me, 60-40. Oh, um, once they close a lead, it is their client as long as there's no more transactions with that same client within a one year period from the date of the first closing. And that was just a way to make sure like, let's say it was a seller lead and they took a discount on the sale commission or whatever, and then helped them buy for full commission. We were still getting a fair split on both of those. Transactions. All right. So that's, that's for the agents yes. that are getting leads from the brokerage. Correct. All right. What about, are you guys a hundred percent brokerage? No. So we do a tiered split model based on production for their own stuff. 70, 30, 80, 20, or 90, 10 based on volume with a cap. Everybody's got a cap of 21. Got it. And if they're, and if they're working the leads, that's a whole different model. Completely got separate. It. So those closings do not count toward their cap. All right. That's so then point. how do, how does it work with the teams inside of your brokerage? Because I'm assuming they have to make it work with their team too. Yes. Most of them do their own little mini lead system. So like our biggest team, which is I think uh, 10 or 11 agents, they have their own, I, they have like four ISAs just for them. They, gen, they have their own ad spend. They're like crazy with the online leads um, that mm -hmm. they, we, you know, mastermind a lot about that stuff just because we do very That's similar cool. things, but on we should, levels. Molly, we should interview them. Too. Totally, totally. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, they're let's so hook fun. that one up. Yeah, let's for definitely sure. do that. Mark, yes. that would be a fun do a, a, a massive online lead webinar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that then, sounds fun. Rocco's got a great question. Uh, what what does ISA mean? Can you break that down? Oh, what they sure. Do? Yeah, yeah. So ISA could stand for either inside sales agent or internet sales agent or internet sales associate. It's basically somebody that's licensed, that's in charge of handling all the online leads as they register. Perfect. I like that. Good answer. Good answer. All right. Anything you have, Mark? And this is this is a wealth of information, Molly. Thank you so much for this. Yeah. This is, All this right, is great. Molly, anything, anything that you wanted us to ask you that we didn't ask you? I don't think so. Oh, you know I what? Mean, Actually, yeah, Rocco, go ahead. Rocco has a question. Um, he says that uh, he's a brand new agent. So welcome, Rocco. Wait, uh, I already asked, that, what, what, already asked that question. You got oh, it. Great. Never mind. Oh, only, yeah. <laughs> Mark, you know what? You're only like five minutes behind, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to write down you. notes. I'm like, what did Molly say? What you. did Molly say? <laughs> ISA. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Rock was like funny. Funny. <laughs> it's, so good. it's so good. That's so good. All right, Molly. So what's next for your brokerage? Like, what are you what are you guys working on that's like super awesome and you're excited about? <sighs> well, we just hired a new marketing director and I adore her. She's super creative. She is focusing right now on our social media presence and creating a lot of content. Um, and reels, you know, moving into the reels and TikTok space, um, making new programs for agents, like mm. almost like a paperless agent esque program where they can pay us, um, and marketing services, the agents all pay extra for it's an a la carte style menu. So <laughs> having them be able to step in and say, Hey, every single listing I have, I want you to do X, Y, and Z, and I'll add this much to my cap, or I'll pay X amount more per transaction. We're just working on things like that to really help the agents and alleviate, you know, take things off their plate. Um, so that's going to be our focus is getting our staff 
good and organized now that we're all back in the office and in person. I like that. And yeah. And just, um, yeah, helping, helping the agents. That's always our biggest thing is, is what can we do to help the agents get more time or more money? And then you said you have seven staff. Was that right? Yes. And yep. that's two ISAs, you, the marketing director, the new marketing director, and yeah. who are the other three? So I actually don't, I don't even include the ISAs in our staff, which is, oh. I should, I totally should, but you know, <laughs> that's nine. Yeah, nice. Um, so no, we've got the two owners. So one's the broker, married couple, broker and, and co-owner. We've got myself um, as the director of ops. We have two full-time trainers for the agents, Shannon and Corey. We have Renee, who's our director of first impressions. She sits at the front desk. We have Maddie as our um, director of marketing. And then if we really, if I'm being nice, we'll count Steven as our contract reviewer. And then we have two ISAs, Jackie and Chris. Nice. Oh, and a, oh my gosh, I forgot an accountant. We have an accountant who's the most important person pays the agents. Yep. Okay. My That's bad. Right. <laughs> I like that. The two full-time trainers, are they also real estate agents? They are. They are not allowed to generate new leads though. So they, they make a base salary, you know, to be in the office and be available for the agents nine to five. And then one of them is available on weekends and after hours as well. They're allowed to sell four deals a year to past clients or family members, but they have to, their focus has to be our agents. Okay. And Natalie's got a interesting question. Says, Molly, what's your phone number? I can I only ask because I'm from Canada. Mine is, and she gave it to you. And this is, if we can have some experience exchange. Oh yeah. Because you're sure. awesome. Am I? You are. Look, <laughs> not only Molly, not only are, do you have a lot of great knowledge that we can apply, but you have such a great attitude. Oh, thanks. It's yes. really good. Thank you guys. You kind of have to in this industry, right? Got to be a positive, <laughs> positive poly. Yeah. That's, you know, that's why I don't, I don't know how Mark has made it so long. He's so like, he's just not happy, never smiles. <laughs> this is not me smiling. This is me no, crying. Like, I'm just messing. Uh, Molly, well, one last question. Daisy Greg says, how do you create the systems for the agents to use? Oh, <sighs> Ah, that's such a loaded question. I, I mean, it's taken me seven years to get to this point. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of, I mean, I, I have a big whiteboard where sometimes I'll just draw things out. I'll get, um, you know, agents that I'm really good friends with, I'll get them in here and talk about what's working and what's not working. I'll get the, I'll meet with the ISAs. I do accountability with the ISAs once a week and I'll just map mm. things out. I'll make either like, um, like a, 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 what is it called? You know, those little flow charts. There we go. Flow charts on, on Google docs or something just to help me visualize the process end to end of a lead coming in and what happens and who touches it and how many times it's contacted. And then you just have to time block to execute those steps, right? You have to like in be intentional with your calendar and put it put on little half hour blocks to work on that every single day. Life is crazy. Things get busy. But if you're intentional with what you're trying to do and you just do it like bite by bite, right? Little, little steps at a time, big steps, then eventually and it's going to be awesome. Molly, how I've got some ideas for you just because Please. you're awesome <laughs> you uh, and, and not like to make it better. I'm just, it's just ideas for you. So number one, uh, well, we need you back. That's number one. <laughs> Uh, number two, I don't know if that was idea. That's a request. Um, number two is you, you know what you could do? You could create a whole training for your company and then sell it to Ooh. other people that are, that are in chime and outside of chime because yeah. uh, you had a really good reception and we have a small group of us right here. Not a, not a big group, but I bet you that that you could definitely start doing something because we'd love to promote you and whatever you create. So yeah. that that's number, that's number two. That's uh, number three idea. is what area do you work in? I, I know you already told me, but what area would you hire in if somebody wants to work for your company this way? If anybody has questions, they could just reach out to you. Internal staff, you mean, or just agents? Agents and agents. internal staff. <laughs> okay. So 
we work the entire Williamson and Travis County area in Texas. So that's Austin and the greater Austin area. And then we have, um, uh, we have two agents in Dallas and we have two agents in San Antonio as well. Nice. Yep. Nice. And let's see what David says. Uh, 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 I own a small indie broker. What's your email? I'll let you, uh, Sure. Oh, it's, yeah. Molly, M-O-L-L-Y at pure realty.com. Pure is P-U-R-E. Okay. P-U-R-E realty.com. All right. Look, yeah. if you have any questions, send them over to her. Um, she's super busy. So I'm assuming she's like a coach and you know, she'll probably charge you like $500. <laughs> 500, do 5,000 a second. So, yeah. Molly, you decide uh, what you have is valuable, right? So be yeah. sure, be sure to use that. And we want to thank you again for doing this. This was awesome. Thank you, Molly. Absolutely. This was so fun. Thank you. Thank you. I like pump the brakes. It was really good to pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. All right, Molly. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys.